Texas 95, 7 the Armadillo. Craig Baum with you in the studio. It's time for the WRCA Ranch Radio, brought to you by New Generation Supplements. We've got uh, Lehman Wall in here, along with Casey Hooper from the WRCA. Uh, just one rodeo last weekend, right? And not even, um, was there a, a, a youth qualifier mixed in, or is this just one rodeo last weekend? Nope. Normal. One rodeo. <laughs> yeah. Craig. You are an alpine. What? Cannon Brooks Whole Camp. Cannon we have Brooks. a new baby boy oh, in yeah. the WRCA family. Oh, congratulations, Peyton, Peyton, Peyton and, and Clayton. Pam. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she was happy to get that. I uh-huh. said squirt that thing out, but didn't. <laughs> it didn't just come rolling out. Like she had some struggles at the end, I guess, from what I hear. But <laughs> I've never had kids, but from what her grandma. And her mom and everybody was saying, it's a beautiful baby. You know, you think to yourself, such innocence coming into this world we're living in is mm-hmm. is kind of it's kind of refreshing to see mm-hmm. new things happen. Yeah. Exactly. Because you're like, oh, that kid. <laughs> He's, you know, they're so innocent right now. We yeah. got it. We got a new WRCA volunteer. That's right. That's right. <laughs> on our hands. Let's not ruin everything so quickly. <laughs> Soon to be manning a concession stand or selling that's the shirts. Right. That's right. Go sell some tickets. And by the time that he's mm-hmm. old enough to drive, which is probably next week, because he was cooked. He was cooked. Um, he can mm. take me everywhere. <laughs> uh, headed out. How, how was Alpine? That's a that's Al- a neat part of the country. Alpine was a long time getting there. Yeah, you say that every time. I say <laughs> like for years. Like I, I've never driven it, but I kind of want to now, just because Casey comes in talking about how long it is, far away it, just it is. This is the highway that never quits, yeah. and I don't know if it's because if you keep going, there's that hippie place called Marfa. I don't yeah. know. Um, I'm like, what's Marfa lights? They need to turn them on so we know we're at least close. <laughs> <laughs> but I no it you know there's thing about that rodeo is it's so it's historic country right yeah so it puts you kind of in this ambiance of yeah. like you want to see yeah. cows and horses Heck and yeah. all sorts of stuff <laughs> but cool. they they had a really really funny thing happen so Saturday night the the football team at Sol Ross in which this takes place at that college mm-hmm. arena was. In there two a days, right. so there, there was a whole section of football players there, and you talk about I've never, you know, when you're around a bunch of athletes, they're real noisy, but in the milking, they were like, you could hear a pin drop, <laughs> and there were it just was hilarious. And then in the, in the milking, we needed, uh, we had 15 teams, so we needed a dummy team come in, not a dummy team, but we call it that, like to make yeah the other team compete. So the C.J. Aragon, the rodeo coach, down there threw a group of kids together off his rodeo team, and they did it. And I think they did better than ours. That's awesome. <laughs> I think we took a no time on that. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm not 100% certain yeah, on that. Yeah. But. Well, who won? Uh, Ville Ranch and Allen Cattle. And for those of you that follow and listen to us, uh, they were last year's world champions. Qualifying a little late, huh? Yeah, I, I mean, I've told john c after i said well you just had to kind of wait till the last picking didn't you know yeah. he goes yeah. well it's not like a trying so <laughs> yeah touche sitting on yeah. her hands yeah. till now yeah, yeah yeah but anyway and then second place was mill shoe hatchet which you might have heard that name they had won at the lowell gimmer memorial ranch rodeo they ended up second and then third place was myrick land and cattle mm-hmm. um uh, my good friend Ephraim Corrales has been with us for a long time. He wasn't there, but kudos to his son. He is airborne uh, ranger now. Oh, wow. And he had to go get him graduated. Yeah. And he's yeah. headed to Fort Bragg. Cool. So thank you for that service. Uh, that yeah, is pretty cool. Way to go. That's pretty cool. And fourth place, because I know they're not going to get a lot of glory because it's fourth, and he, Philip will be like, oh, dang, it's fourth place. But I'll tell you what. M, uh, Circle M8 did a heck of a job, and one of their cowboys on that team, Jade Smith, won top hand. And to win top hand at Alpine, Texas, is kind of like, I guess, the, like winning the Super Bowl. Like, it's, it's a yeah. big, big, big honor. And his face, he was like the Joker <laughs> on Batman. He was a continual smile. He got off his bronc, which I sent a picture out. He's on that white horse. Um, 
he did not stop smiling. <laughs> That's cool. Until Saturday. Well, he was still smiling when he was taking all his loot That's home cool. with him. That's pretty cool. He got yeah. good reason in the bronc riding. He was uh, he won it Friday night and was third Saturday. Yeah, night. that's a heck of a well. He needed it. He it was just like a young kid getting that boost. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it just a, it, everyone was so happy for him. Cool. He could have came out with a re ride and everyone was happy for him. That's awesome. <laughs> just that kind of kid. And then um, top horse. Uh, wrote, written by Rody Wilson, and go ahead, Lehman, with your scientific names. <laughs> well, it's not scientific. It's proven fact. Proven fact. That's by record. But uh, you know how Craig likes these names. I like these names. Metallic Outlaw. Woo! Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, Top could... Horse sponsored by our friends at Horse Lick. He could have his own logo, a Metallic Outlaw. Well, he probably does. Like, like a, he, like probably, black, he probably black does. Metallic gunmetal. It's His tail looked better than my hair. But... Um, <laughs> So we're calling John C. Bryan. Shut up. He's weaning this morning, so he might not have the best cells. Oh, I thought his teeth were coming in. So he is about to be done weaning. I mean, he's weaning. (laughs) I'll let you discuss that with him. (laughs) Let's call him. Looking for mineral supplements that are economical, convenient, weather-resistant, high-quality, palatable? Look no further than Smartlicks Mineral Tubs. We know there's a lot of mineral supplement options out there, but not all are created equal. Smartlick tubs are fortified with all the nutrients your beef animals need, but without the waste that is common in loose mineral supplementation. To learn more about mineral supplement solutions to help support your herd perform their best, head over to smartlick.com or stop by your nearest Smartlick dealer today. All right, we got him on the phone, John C. Bryan. Congratulations, coming to Amarillo this November. Thank you all very much. We're sure excited. You're going to make that highway hot again, coming <laughs> up here, try to get him another championship. Mm-hmm. Um, we're sure shooting at him. We're, everybody's pretty excited. we got a pretty slow start, but we're excited. Well, I mean, <laughs> slow is okay. That fast is okay. But it doesn't matter how you get there. You're there, and you did it at a good rodeo. Hey, let me tell you this. I was bragging about the sorting cattle on Friday. Was that just not the best sorting you've probably ever watched or had to do? I think that was the best sorting I've ever had. I I looked at T.A. uh, Tanner Allen. He's never been to that rodeo, and Coy had never been to it. And the first day, we trotted down there and got done with the sorting. I said, this can be our rodeo. This can Mm -hmm. be the best one yet. He said, why do you think that? And I said, well, that's the first time I've ever had a time in the sorting at the – that alpine, so mm-hmm. shoot, it's just got to go up from here. <laughs> Everybody. I think there was one no time on Friday night, but everyone had same set, nice as heifers I've seen in a long time. Nice oh, heifers. They nice. They've been rode through, as like I said earlier. They respected a horse, and they just peeled off now. Then you get into Saturday, and typical woman heifer style, they said B.S., Watch what I can do. And they started <laughs> squirting out the sides, and then it was a whole game changer, right, John? Like a whole well, different I thought so, yes, ma'am. It, it kind of made you use your head a little bit. You know, in the first round, we could really kind of uh, kind of put the heat on them and put a little pressure on them, and everybody was pretty safe, and everybody kind of got to work your horse. And then uh, the second round, yes, ma'am, it's kind of a game changer. You kind of had to keep your head on a swivel, yes. and, and uh, they, they would sure try you a little bit, but – uh, the I thought it was a good competition, though. It lets you show your abilities. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the milk, and you guys came out, and you got milk, and you won that event. We did that. We uh, they had good good cows, and, mm-hmm. and uh, we had a real good I, – I mean, I thought it was – I thought the stock was, was good throughout the whole rodeo. So tell me this. So Coy and Tanner had never been there. Did they like to? Sh- Whoops! I about cussed. Did they like to? <laughs> oh, you caught <laughs> I did catch myself. Did they like to poop their pants whenever they saw the milking event? Because that's like if you've uh, never seen it, Craig. They run two cows at the same mm-hmm. time. Uh, yes, yeah. they they had. They of course we've seen that cow milking one time before, but yeah, they thought that was a lot going on. But I think the only one that uh, about had a heart attack was I about got run over by the other team that we went with, and uh, I think I was the only one that kind of dude the pants. <laughs> So, okay, so listen to this. Yeah, so listen. You need to watch the video. You will get a good laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So listen to this. It was Logan Anderson on that stud. And that stud is like 15 and a half hands, but he's like a brick house, right? Just all yeah. just brick. And I see John C., and Logan's trying to hold up, and he's got John C. in front of him, 
But John C. can't see out of this cave of front end on this beast. <laughs> and he's like, what the heck? <laughs> There's like a freight train getting ready to just hit John C. And Logan was trying to hold up that stud. I was like, oh my gosh, this is entertaining. But they won. Sorry, to it, they won the milk and you did. So... Uh, it, it I owe Logan a good. beer for not running me over. <laughs> yeah, we would have had to take you out on a that. <laughs> you would have been pretty flattened. That was. I mean, that horse is stout anyway. Yes, he is. <laughs> I I just want to congratulate Cutter for getting second in the bronc riding at a really tough rodeo. So make sure and give Cutter the the attaboy for me, John C. I gave you. I did give him the attaboy. I'm uh, I'm real proud of that young man. He's a. Uh, uh, I, he's already he's a full grown man, but he's he's uh, one of our favorites. Everybody loves him, and he is the biggest asset to our team. He is. When he crawled in the of course, <clears throat> we're all sitting there taking a deep seat, you know. And here it is coming down to the nut cutting on this bottom end of these broncs, right? He gets in there, and everyone's nervous. And I know John C and I were nervous, and. Cutter goes, he gets my halter, my halter. And I'm like, seriously, gate open. <laughs> it was on. So when he, and I do mean he rode that bronc. It wasn't no hands down. He rode that bronc. But everybody, when he got off, was like, your halter? What the heck? Your halter? <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Lewis was trying to help him get out on that horse. I yeah. guess he was kind of fouling him in the shoot. Didn't really want to play He did, play yeah. The- didn't really want to play the game, and Jacob took his uh, neck rope and helped pick that horse up and helped us out. And mm-hmm. in the meantime, pulled his halter off. And yes, anyway, Cutter did a good job of lifting and did pretty much. Oh wow! <laughs> there was a few choice things, but yeah, <laughs> everybody rallied together. Everyone rallied together. They, you know, Cutter followed the uh, W. T. Wagner guy. And he drew a horse that was like insanity. And then it, so everyone's camaraderie was up and everyone was just like, thank God that's over. <laughs> Yay, let's go have cold beers. <laughs> they were a tough pin of horses. I thought they were real tough Saturday night. I thought they were uh, really a tough set of Bronx for the toughest I'd seen down there as a whole for a Saturday night. Well, he won, he won Saturday night. And like you say, just commend him for. Being so productive in the bronc riding when you got said there, there's a lot of good bronc riders in that pen uh, down there. I will. Outline. He had, he had a good night. We, that night, that thirty night cutter. Had, you know, he won the round in the Brandon, and mm-hmm. he roped his heel steer real fast. And he won the bronc riding. He had a really good rodeo on Saturday night. And I was proud of him. I was real proud of him. That's awesome. Well, you guys, he's were, top hand in our book. <laughs> he he yeah. should be. He should be. You were second in the bronc ride and won the cow milking, fourth in the doctor, and tied for third in the branding, second in the sorting. That's about as solid as you can be across the board, Casey Hooper. Yeah, that's about as consistent. That's actually where you want to be. I mean, unless you're going to win out and get every event won. But, John C., that's where you want to be with that kind of result because that's consistency. And that was perfect. Now, I was really glad. I think we were coming into the – Saturday went in third, and mm-hmm. we're better when you kind of back us in a corner. We're not we we get along better when somebody has to hustle us a little bit. Mm-hmm. Well, I think you mm-hmm. knew in the back of your brain that you had Ace and Logan off of Mule Shoe kind of creeping. And I'll tell you, who had a good rodeo. They they came undone on Saturday in a in, in the benefit. Friday had their toes a little stubbed, but then on. On Saturday was Ephraim's team, Myrick, because they were creeping. They were inching away, inching away. Doctrine got some people, huh? The Doctrine kind of took everyone out they of the game. Did. They, they, they did. It they, they got a bunch of them. They got a little tricky to kind of sort out uh, the second day. And, yes. uh, of course, I think everybody starts – the second day, I think everybody starts feeling rushed and they're – trying to win and trying to make something happen instead of sometimes sometimes we'd like to say we're going to make it happen but sometimes you just got to slow down and let you it bet. happen you bet and i don't know if you know this craig and lehman but so they use roping steers good roping steers look where we are we're by the mexican border so it's not like they were but they'd been roped a time or two so you sort them out and all these steers would find a straight track so guys that can rope every one of them there 
was just about to throw their head loop. Oh, no, it would, like, do a backflip, turn around, run back, do a... I mean, it was like, what the hell? It was good rodeo. Congrats for getting qualified, and, and here we go to defend that world championship. So I'm sure y'all are ready. I know it. I'm just glad when we get to shot up in the, entry, in, in the grand entry last this year, <laughs> we actually get qualified so I don't have to show up to trot in and then go sit in the cheap seats the rest of the time. <laughs> well, you do what you We're want. Struggling. <laughs> you do what you need to do because it's a clean slate. Doesn't matter how you get here, you got here, and now it's open book. So, see what we're, happens. We're excited, John C. We're congrats. Excited. We'll be hollering at you. Thank you very much. Y'all have a blessed day, and thanks for having us. Looking for mineral supplements that are economical, convenient, weather resistant, high quality, palatable? Look no further than Smartlix Mineral Tubs. We know there's a lot of mineral supplement options out there, but not all are created equal. Smartlick Tubs are fortified with all the nutrients your beef animals need, but without the waste that is common in loose mineral supplementation. To learn more about mineral supplement solutions to help support your herd perform their best, head over to Smartlick.com or stop by your nearest Smartlick dealer today all right well we mentioned top horse and top hand already so i guess that leaves us with what's coming up what with what's next yeah what's on the next? radar so this weekend we've got the oklahoma cattlemen's ranch rodeo in uh, edmond oklahoma or guthrie oklahoma i guess it is at the lazy e so two performances just like where casey was in alpine friday and saturday night they've got tickets for sale go to lazye.com Check them out. Uh, OCA is a really nice event for us. Our um, Was it last year's Sanction Rodeo, Rodeo of the Year? Yes. I believe it was. Yes. And um, they they support a local children's hospital with their funds oh, for cool. that event. So nice, nice event coming up this weekend. There's only six left. Holy cow. Speaking of championship while we're there, just looked at a ticket report this morning. Mm-hmm. And Friday, officially, there's under 350 tickets wow. yep. left. And the way that they've been going out the door, it's going to take about 10, 10 days or so before mm-hmm. there's not any. Yeah. So, folks, if you're listening and you want to get Friday tickets, you better jump on yep. it. It's that Saturday's gone. Saturday's gone. Yep. Uh, there's still, of course, Thursday performance and Sunday performance. Yep. They're just as good. And youth championship They're just on Saturday. as good. Yep. And Saturday at 1 o'clock, we've got our our second WRCA Youth World Championship. That's a good ticket, Casey, if you're looking for good action. Mm-hmm. Watching the kiddos, they're they're talented. They've got a lot of heart, a lot of try. Uh, come, come Saturday afternoon, check it out. So we've got uh, saddle tickets available yeah. for the foundation on raffle tickets. That drawing is on Sunday, the 13th of November. But you can get them now, and you do not have to be present to win. Oh, cool. Yeah. But Oliver Saddle Shop is selling them. We're selling them online, and we'll have, I mean, they're at the office, so don't get left out. Um, I do have to add, we lost a a pretty good friend this past week, uh, Danny Finley. He judged tons of ranch rodeos for us throughout the years, and that family took a big loss, and so did we. And it kind of really bites. Mm. I don't know what's happening, but it's sad. Mm -hmm. So on that note, we wish everyone good luck and prayers out to everybody. And we'll see you next week. Oh, no. End this on a happier note. Sing sing your little monkey's peanut song. (laughs) (laughs) What? Oh, give, what's that? So, yeah, the, give, uh, what is it, Casey? The monkey Oh, peanut. toss me a nanner. Toss me a nanner. <laughs> Call me a monkey. I don't even know the song. But, uh, yes, WR, WRCA, WRCA.org. See how that works? WRCA.org. Check out the mobile app. Yes. If you're looking for info, looking for tickets, looking for whatever you need, WRCA. Dot Org. <laughs> you know, it's funny. They gave me a bunch of grief over that song. Call me a nanner and throw me Toss a peanut. Toss me a peanut. <laughs> you know, and they and they want to dig on that. We played way. it we, for <laughs> you. It's not real. Fake news. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You wait till I edit all this. I'm going to run it up under every time you talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not fake. I can't even make that good stuff up. I'll make up a song about you.
Oh, goodness me. <laughs> I appreciate you. See you, Craig.